Our next guest is part of the Escritorigueño project that will allow young children in Puerto Rico to express their thoughts and feelings about the devastation of Hurricane Maria through writing stories. And the goal of the project is to publish a book or a magazine full of these stories to ultimately help he heal these children and to let other children know that they are not alone. And joining us to tell us more about the project, please welcome writer, director, and producer Felix Rojas. Hello hey, and welcome. Mina, what's happening? Welcome back, nice, Felix. Nice to be back here. Um, I, was, I was saying earlier, I've been here so many times that I don't need directions anymore. Por I, don't, fin, I, right? I don't get lost through <laughs> campus anymore. So. And you know, it's Thank our you. pleasure to keep him, have you, having you back, especially with all of the the work efforts and just the the impact that you've had within our community, beginning with growing up, Gonzalez. I mean, congratulations on that amazing long run of, of a play. I mean, that's a little challenging to keep a, a, an off Broadway show uh, so alive for so long. It was a challenge. It was it was very tough, uh, but very rewarding. As you know, we've worked with some great people uh, off Broadway, on and off. I would say for about six years. Uh, but the last run, a good solid two-year run, uh, was wonderful. Uh, gave us the opportunity to go to Puerto Rico. Right. That's what I was going to say. I mean, you did so well. I, regardless of whatever struggles you had in order to keep the show alive, it was able to catch the eyes of Puerto Rico. And you traveled to Puerto Rico, and, and then you also transferred it, right? You translated yeah, yeah, it into yeah. Spanish, and it was performed in Spanish. We did it in May in, in uh, San Juan, and then we went to Mayagüe. And uh, it was translated by Cita Rodriguez. You know Cita Rodriguez. Yes, the fabulous um, She did a musician. fantastic job. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a great singer. She did a fantastic job. And the, the performer was Johnny Lozada, uh, the ex-Menudo. I know. Uh, who, uh, tremendous, tremendous talent. He was, he was this close to being, being brilliant, you know. Um, and he was, he was on his way. And, uh, but he got a job. While he was over there, they offered him a job on a television station. Aww. So that kind of sidetracked him. So, you know, we're, we're back at square one. But... Tremendous actor. Well, the idea, though, is that you were able to produce, write, and direct this show that made its way all the way to Puerto Rico to then allow you to experience Puerto Rico and, of course, the devastation that occurred within Puerto Rico. And now you designed this program. But before we d uh, jump into the Escritorigueño, I do want to bring into light the uh, the fact that Growing Up Gonzalez is still alive in another form. Uh, I understand you wrote a rendition in which now you uh, were able to bring to Sing Sing, and that I find fascinating because now it's raising social awareness within the institutions. Yeah, you know, it's great. It's like a, it's the perfect show to do that with. It's a one-person show. Uh, it's a set of monologues, and it deals with so many different issues. You know, you could pick a monologue, and you can, you can talk about an issue in that monologue for two hours. Um, so what I've done is, you know, the, the book... Is, is, is fiction loosely based on my life, my brother's lives, everybody around me. So what I did was uh, I put together uh, what I thought were the most important monologues in the play. And I brought my two brothers with me, Rick and Frank. And uh, they're very familiar with the play and the life of the play. Um, so they would elaborate on the monologues and how it related to them. Um, and uh, it was it was fascinating. And we had, that, we had, that, that's we got brave a great too. That's brave too for them to come to the forefront oh, yeah, yeah. and share the truth in in the stories because that story is raw and you brought it into a raw environment. So I'm sure that was uh, that served as therapy for a lot of uh, unfortunate. And they get uh, they get very raw. They are tremendously honest, my two brothers, and uh, with their delivery. And that's what makes it so good. It's, it's those guys there. You know, the play is you know the play is the play, but what they bring is amazing. And I, I can only imagine the relation to the individuals that were locked up, uh, that you went and visited, that were locked up in regards to just providing this workshop that uh, yeah. allows for a, a place of uh, just being in touch with the outside world. Yeah, you know, if, if we could, if we could have touched somebody just a little bit, you know, uh, that uh, helps to change the trajectory of their life, even just a little bit. You know, that's the goal. That's what we hope we did that day. And I, I think we, we, we put our best foot forward. So I, I mentioned that because I, I'm watching the way your your work is evolving, and now you're bringing this to Puerto Rico. I mean, not growing up Gonzalez, but this work, this program that I think is going to be really uh, phenomenal uh, when it's all said and done, because you're actually taking these children and you're 
opening them up into documenting a uh, historical time uh, of Puerto Rico. So let's talk a little bit about how you got involved with that. Well, you know, it happened when I was in Puerto Rico for the Growing Up Gonzalez show, uh, Creciendo con lo Gonzalez. That was the title in Spanish. Um, I had an opportunity to, uh, to have a group of middle school students come to one of the shows, and I was able to talk to them uh, for a little while. And of course, you know, Maria was so fresh, that was the, the topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. And you know, I learned a couple of things. You know, I learned that they're not really talking about it a whole lot, the kids aren't. Um, I learned that parents trying to protect their kids, uh, they're saying, that's in the past, let's move on. You know, not trying to do any damage, but we know that you gotta process things. Um, so parents are trying to help their kids, sometimes not in the right way. And um, so I was moved. I said, you know what, this, this is what I do. I write. And for me, you know, writing is the closest thing that I do that, that comes close to God. You know, um, I, I see myself as a creator, and he was the best creator ever, right? So um, I think writing is as close as you come to that. Because so, you start with nothing. Right. You know? right. We're starting we with nothing. You have to start from nothing. You have to start with nothing. If not, then nothing flows through and it, you right? And you create a world. And so, the world that we're trying to create is a world of truth. What these kids went through before, during, and after Hurricane Maria. And the stories are amazing. So um, when do you leave and what do you uh, foresee uh, the, as the outcome in this effort? Well, I, like, like you said, we're trying to put together a publication. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you know, it's a work in progress. We're, we're still trying to feel our way around. Um, I leave on October 20, 26th. I'm there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Saturday is the actual workshop. We're going to be in Cataño, in El Palque de la Esperanza. We're going to do an outdoor thing this time. Last month we were indoor. And um, we hope to sit down and do a lot of work uh, this time around. Last time it was kind of an introduction, uh, get people committed. We have a committed group, uh, so I hope to come back with about 50, 60 pages worth of work. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, uh, thank you. And, thank you for and, having and, me. And I personally, I, I enjoy bringing uh, various artists who are assisting in uh, relief efforts in various genres. And so to have this uh, particular, this is a new one, so it's really refreshing. So thank you. Thank you for taking Thank you. it on. Thank you. And if anybody wants to uh, get some more information, they can go to the website. It's called papispromise.com. And there you get information about the project, information about me, uh, ways to donate, because we absolutely, that's always the hardest part, right? Getting, right. getting the funds. So right. uh, we could definitely use the help. Well, we all need our help. We all need a helping hand, and Puerto Rico still needs our help. So you guys, to help donate to this incredible project, please make sure to visit papispromise.com. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we sit with the legendary Grammy winner, Denise Williams, so Ooh. don't go anywhere.